a desolate moonlit highway, Alex decided to take a late night drive. As Alex drove, he noticed a silhouette up ahead that appeared to be a woman. The closer he got, he saw that it actually was a woman. She was standing on the edge of the road with her thumb outstretched, indicating that she was hitchhiking. Feeling a twinge of sympathy, Alex pulled over and rolled down the window. The woman was dressed in tattered clothing, her hair was in a bun and she had a look of disorientation on her face. Without another thought, Alex offered the woman a ride. She thanked him and slowly walked over to his car. She opened the door to the back seats and climbed in, closing the door next to her. Alex watched from the rear view as the woman fastened her seatbelt before taking off down the dark road. As the car moved forward, a chilling silence enveloped the interior. Alex stole glances at the rear view mirror, catching glimpses of the hitchhiker's hollow eyes. The silence that filled the car became too much for Alex, and he decided to ask the woman some questions. He tried asking if she was okay and where she was headed, but the woman didn't answer. She just sat in the back staring out the window with the same disoriented expression. Alex tried again to get the woman to talk, but she wouldn't say anything. This response from the woman was starting to make Alex feel a little uneasy. Alex decided to just drive a little farther in hopes the woman who call out when they reached her destination. Although Alex had felt sympathy for the woman, he was slowly staring to regret picking her up. She was giving off a very chilling vibe, and it was making Alex very nervous. The silence was starting to drive Alex crazy. This woman needed to tell him something. He had no idea who she was, and now he felt even more nervous, wondering why she was so silent. He didn't know if she was leading him to a trap or not, but he definitely didn't want to waste any more time wondering. Preparing to speak to the woman again, Alex glanced back into the rearview mirror and was horrified to find the back seat completely empty. The woman had vanished. Alex slammed on the brakes, stopping his car in the middle of the road. He switched on the car lights and turned around to the back seat. He was now terrified to find that the woman was no longer there, and what's worse is that he didn't hear the car door open at all. It was like she just disappeared like magic. Alex slowly turned back to face the road and switched off the car lights. He scanned the road to see if the woman was standing nearby or walking into the woods. But he didn't see anything but the road ahead of him and complete darkness. He put the car back in drive and continued down the road, trying to forget what just happened. As he drove farther down the road, Alex had calmed down. He wasn't sure what happened, but he didn't want to think about it anymore. He switched on his radio and filled the car with heavy rock to drown out the chilling silence that still lingered in the car. As he was nodding his head to the music, he noticed another silhouette up ahead. He slowly lowered the volume on the radio and his heart started pounding. He drove closer and to his horror, he saw the same woman standing on the edge of the road again, where she had on the same clothes and she had her thumb outstretched again. Alex hit the brakes once more just a few feet away from where the woman was standing. He just stared straight at her, completely confused. Was he really seeing her again, or was his imagination just playing tricks on him from being so nervous earlier? Alex didn't want to take that chance again and mashed his foot down on the gas, driving right past the woman and not looking in her direction or in the rearview mirror. As he drove even farther, Alex kept telling himself that it was just his mind playing a joke on him. There was no way he could be seeing the same woman not long after she disappeared from his car and he had driven farther away than she could have walked. But then again, he also didn't know how she managed to just disappear from his car without making a sound. Alex was becoming more and more terrified the more he tried to piece the situation together. He tried again to forget about what happened, but suddenly he heard a voice from the back seat that sent a chill through his body. You can stop here? Alex hit the brakes once more, his heart sounding as if it were beating out of his chest. He gripped the steering wheel hard and stared straight ahead at the road. Alex was now terrified out of his mind. He didn't know what to think, but he knew he'd been the only person in the car for past few minutes. Although he was scared out of his mind, Alex slowly turned his eyes to the rearview mirror and was horrified to find the woman sitting in the back seat again, this time with the creepiest smile on her face. Before Alex could move or even speak, the woman lunged towards him, causing him to let out a loud shriek. Then there was complete silence. Alex's car, now empty, just sat in the middle of the dark road, still running. 